We have just spent the last 10 days here in Seattle. It's been incredible. We've eaten some amazing food, gone to some of the main attractions, and even seen the Willy Wonka of coffee. This is fancy. I'm overwhelmed. But today, we've had to say goodbye to the pets we're house sitting, and we're hitting the road again. This time, we are catching a bus from Seattle to Vancouver. So we get to see what it's like crossing from America to Canada overland. I have been freaking out about any border crossings since those police in Serbia. This us 40 euro in bribe to not be taken off the train in a random city in Serbia with no accommodation at three in the morning. The internet tells us that as Australians, all we should need is our Australian passport and nothing else, which is great because that's all we've got. I hope I have our passports. You check it now. <laughs> I thought I did. Good, good, good. I don't know whether the seasons are as particular as they are in Japan, but the cherry blossoms here look really cool. If that's what they are, not 100%. made it to King Street Station which is where we're getting our bus from today. Originally we really really wanted to catch the train because apparently this track, the Cascade track, is really beautiful but it was double the price I think than catching a bus so the budget wins on this one. The ticket is still like 60 bucks for both of us for I think four hours so it hurts even at that price let alone what the train would have cost. Because I'm always uber prepared, we are a whole hour early. That's okay though. But we know where it picks up, so we've got that part sorted. We get anxiety about very different things when we're traveling. And for some reason, Jordan's anxiety comes from like not knowing 100% where a bus or train is leaving from. It's very specific. <laughs> I need to know when, where, what it looks like. Because I know how much it costs if you miss it or if there's some complication. So pretty in here. Really beautiful station though. stuff, all our bags, off the bus, go through immigration, hopefully successfully. <laughs> Got through no worries, a few extra questions for us, but we made it. really really quickly and the views out of the window were amazing i already love vancouver the mountains in the background of the city is just crazy to me it looks incredible we were very fortunate we had a very funny bus driver who kept making jokes the whole time and a pretty good crew on the bus so no issues at all went through immigration no problem we did not have a good crew on the bus two people were smoking on board i didn't see it two separate people that's crazy Okay, well we had a good drive, <laughs> but we didn't stop at all for food and we haven't eaten anything except a banana for breakfast, so we need to get some food. Poutine. We have found our hostel, but we don't have the code we need to get in. 
in. <laughs> so we're just stuck out the front at the moment. Jordan's going across the road to see if they have Wi-Fi because apparently the code's been sent to us. <sighs> Stressful start to Vancouver. <laughs> Everything needs a password, and you can't get passwords without going in and like sitting at a table. And I don't want to be that guy that goes in and sits at a table just to get Wi-Fi. I don't know why we just didn't get sent a code. Oh well, they should open their reception in the next five minutes, hopefully. I hope a foreshadowing thing doesn't come up here, because that would mean I'm in trouble. There's been like five different people that have walked past with a pizza box that looks really good. And it's literally at the corner. I'm so hungry, I think that's where we should go. That was one of the Wi-Fi's I couldn't connect to because they needed a password. <laughs> Did you try password? Come oh, on, Wi-Fi password. That's all we need. Someone leaving lit us in. Now we're hanging awkwardly in the lobby. Luckily there were some lovely guests that gave us the Wi-Fi password because even though their check-in desk was meant to open, 10 minutes ago, no one's here. But we got in, the door was just unlocked for us. So, I would like to say that we got what we paid for, but I'm pretty sure this was quite expensive, right? This was the cheapest place we could stay, possibly, in all of Vancouver. So it was still expensive. <laughs> but it's a room, a room's a room. We are hungry, we're gonna go eat. because it means it's like, they take the time, it's not mass produced. We got a margarita, add salami. Yum, I'm so excited. Yeah. Saving poutine for a food tour a day. Yeah, <laughs> we're definitely getting it. It's just gonna be, now we'll go to the best place, you know? Yeah, walk around for 20 minutes and then eat. eat. I bloody love it here. This is insane that this is the middle of the city. We've got mountains in the background, a lake in front of me, pizza's cooking, everyone's really nice. I'm happy. Pizza time. <sighs> this is so cool. Picked up the pizza, dribbled a little bit of chili oil on it. It looks so good. Wow. Oh. Got it? Yeah. Pretty good. Oh no. Then we've got the next two days to explore Vancouver and eat a bunch of food. As a general rule, after a trusted house sitter's gig, we try and leave the place better than we found it. And look what I just saw Jordan did. I need to go before. Oh, <laughs>